Who are you, what's your role, and who do you work for? Hi, I'm Philip, uh, co-founder of Glasscube. We are an open source uh, dev tool startup, and we are building the next generation of package manager for Kubernetes. What are three Kubernetes emerging tools that you are keeping an eye on? Definitely follow the database operators, like Cloud Native PG, MariaDB operator, um, because I think they're getting more popular and more stable nowadays. Then the classic Kubernetes dashboard actually got a major revamp, new technology below, which I'm also very closely following, and obviously Glasscube. I need to pl just plug it here. One of our guests, Steven, shared some simple but effective advice on building Kubernetes operators. Keep it simple and use multiple CRDs. Do you have any advice on operators? I think just getting started. You can build your first controller super easily. Kube Builder is a super way to get uh, started. And also there's the Java Operator SDK. So if you have a Java or Kotlin background, it's a fantastic way to write your first operator, get to know all the reconcilers, and you can move to Go forward eventually. Another guest, Alex, compared Argo CD and Flux CD and showed that one focuses more on application deployment and the other is best suited for provisioning infrastructure. What's your view on this? Is there a better GitOps tool? Sure, I think both have its uh, pros and cons, but Flux really stands out for me for its simplicity and really focus on a task does it very well. Also the Helm controller is really nice to have like real Helm releases in your cluster which is a major for, um, plus point. But Argo CD, if it's a GUI, obviously has some use cases, especially for folks who just wants to have the, a shiny tool. And yeah, but super happy that Flux is a graduated CNCF project, so it won't got, it won't got uh, way. A guest of ours, Jacko, disliked Helm's approach to templating, mentioning difficulties with multi-line strings and loss of strict schema enforcement, but acknowledged the usefulness of Helm packages. Do you see more tools and companies tackling the Helm package manager with new and innovative solutions? Are you happy with the status quo? How should we install third-party packages into Kubernetes? Helm has built up an awesome ecosystem and Helm charts are so popular that it's super easy to get them installed, but really the templating languages and all the drawbacks like missing dependencies, no multi-namespace deployments in umbrella charts are really drawbacks that needs to be tackled for the Kubernetes ecosystem because it's still missing a real package manager. And we are with Glasscube on a mission to build the next generation of uh, package manager for Kubernetes. Kubernetes is turning 10 years old this year. What should we expect in the next 10 years to come? Sure, I think Kubernetes does an awesome job in getting all my applications ready for availability zone, but it kind of has a lot of potential if you look at the, your company deployment at a global scale, something like MetaCube or anything else related to orchestrating applications across multiple clusters in multiple countries and availability zones would be super nice and would be, sol would be solving the next big problem. What's next for you? Well, we just started with Glasscube, so we're multi multiple years are ahead of our journey and we have some really exciting news to share. But I can't share it right now, so make sure to follow our journey to keep updated what's going to happen with Glasscube in the next future. How can people get in touch with you? I'm Philip McLinsey on LinkedIn, or just PMIG80 on X or Twitter, or just uh, join obviously the Glasscube Discord and write to me. Okay.